Hey friends, it's April Holly Smith and I'm here during Thriftober to talk about five things that you need to do before you hit the thrift shop. What? Before I go? Yeah. There's just a little bit of groundwork if you do, you will be so much happier with not only the things that you pick out, but the money that you save. So the very first thing is don't shop tired. Sounds crazy, but you know, sometimes it just is very tempting to, you know, run in after work or, you know, is some other time to sandwich it in. But you know what? The best thing is don't be tired. If you're going to be doing this, you want to do it at your best time of day. If you're a morning person, you want to find a morning to go. If you're not a morning person and you're an afternoon or an evening person, then you want to go during the afternoon or the evening. So let's say you need some tips for doing this not tired. Something like taking a B vitamin half an hour or an hour before you go can really make the difference. If you like chia or if you have, if you've never tried chia, great time to try chia. Chia will give you tons and tons of energy. It's like a, it's like drinking some coffee without having coffee. You can have it in your salad dressing. You can put it in your, um, in your drink and shake it up and it will actually get like gel spheres around it and you can drink it and it will give you tons of energy, like long lasting energy. So don't go tired. Go during your best time of day have some chia, have some bee, whatever you need to do, have a big Starbucks before you go because you need to not be tired. You need to have energy to deal with this. So the next thing is number two is to have a plan of what you want when you go in. Don't just go in and be like, whatever. No, you need a plan. No, I want to go in. I want to get work pants and maybe a, a, or a blazer. I'm looking for work clothing. I'm looking for work out clothing. Um, I'm looking for skirts and dresses for say uh, church or a more formal, more uh, dressed up type of activity. Have a plan or no, you know what? I need dishes. Whatever it is that you are going, know what that is because it's really easy to be overwhelmed by the amount of stuff and there's a lot of um, stuff that you're not gonna want so in order to wade through that don't be tired and know which sections you need to go to to look through right okay so this is tip number three set a spending limit before you go you need a top end you need to know when you're gonna stop because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff that's going to help you curb the, um, the bringing of, of junk home <laughs> because when you go in, you want things that are not going to be junk for you, you want things that are of value to you, things that are going to be useful, things that are going to be consumed and used and reused. One way that I like to help with that is I like to take cash, just put it in my pocket. No way I don't have to bring my purse or my wallet in, so. Um, so here is number five, and this is a really important one. Know what the sale days or sale options are for your store. Um, we have two thrift stores that I commonly go to, and then we have a couple that we go to maybe once or twice a year. The Salvation Army Family Store is my favorite store. So for the the sale, it's every color except one is 50% off on Wednesdays. It's half price day. Now every other day they have one color that is half price. So it's hard to go in and not find a deal. Whereas Goodwill has a colored tag, which is different than the paper tags. They're they're plasticky. And it's one color a day is on sale and it just rolls through whatever. But with Goodwill, if you donate to them, they give you a 20% off your entire order coupon. So it can be a, it can be a better deal depending on what you're getting. Now, we also have 
like consignment stores, we have like a Plato's Closet and uh, Plato's Closet has a, a sister store. Like Plato's Closet is like the work side of it and then they have, um, I can't remember, but it's right next door and it's kind of like the, the younger, hipper version. But it is all 100% um, resale clothes. It's like thread. It's like the thread up of physical stores, is what I would consider it. Um, and if I'm looking for something very specific, like at Christmas time for my Christmas dress, I have been known to go in there. I've never actually gotten anything because it didn't fit me because I was horrendously pregnant. Whatever it was. Um, also, we have a Once Upon a Child, a children's consignment store, and we go there because two times a year they have a bag sale and it is literally everything that you can stuff in the bag is like 50 cents or something like per piece and for the first two years of these two's life all of their clothes like came from there or was a gift I mean for real so I go there two times a year because it's a great price I have a winter coat for um, the girls bought their their um, snow suits were bought there the, the car seat cover for the winter that has the little face opening, that was purchased there. All of the onesies were ready, like everything. Um, their child harnesses, their baby leashes, bought there. All at a very reasonably discounted price. So, know what your thrift stores are offering as far as sales and plan to go on those days. Be targeted. And here is the bonus item before you go be prepared to walk away with nothing that happens sometimes you go in and you need pants and they have nothing in your size or nothing in the color that you need or your toddlers come over and want to show you their apples so those are six tips five tips and a bonus for preparing before you go to the thrift store so if you're enjoying thriftober Please take a moment to give me the thumbs up. Stay tuned. There is much, much, much more to come because Thriftober is a big deal and there's a lot going on. <laughs> and I hope that it will make you a better thrift shopper and I hope that you'll just have fun seeing what we were able to do with the little bit of money that we're gonna use and the resources that we have. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and we'll see you later. Bye.